Good morning, it's day 27 of my 90 day transformation and it's Saturday. I slept in a little bit today and um, I spent a little extra time in meditation this morning. So it's really bright in here, but um, it gets really, really bright here in Albuquerque. And the funny thing is I grew up in Florida and they call Florida the sunshine, sunshine state, but Florida's got nothing on Albuquerque. It's sunny here. <laughs> like from the minute you wake up till when you go to bed and it rarely ever rains here. So anyway, it's, it's Saturday morning. I'm in a good mood. I have good energy and I spent a little extra time uh, sleeping in this morning because yesterday's workout was really tough. Um, it was leg day and um, leg, I've always hated leg day um, and my legs, um, can, my upper body has always been stronger than my lower body, which most women don't have this um, problem. Most people, women will say, you know, they were dance or they've got great legs. Well, my legs have always been my weak point. My, I, I used to be able to bench more than I could squat. So, um, but now I can't bench or squat. So my legs were tough. Uh, when I was done with my workout, I could barely do the last set. Like my legs were just barely moving, but I pushed through it and then I laid on the floor for a while and I actually threw up yesterday because that workout was tough and leg workouts can do that sometime. I, I remember my son threw up outside the Planet Fitness parking lot one time when I had him doing um, leg presses. So. Uh, something about that using your legs and uh, I, I don't know what it is, but it can make you nauseous. So I slept in this morning and I think it's really important for muscle recovery and also important for my moods and energy. So this morning I meditated for a while and I've actually um, made a few takes of this video, which, you know, that's something I'm trying to improve on, but I also want each video for me to be happy with what I'm what I made um, for it to motivate and inspire me. And uh, this morning I meditated for quite a while and some of the things I, I get during meditation I don't share because they're really meant for me. Um, and then I share other things, but you know, one of the things that I got this morning was about my spirituality and how I practice my faith and how I share my faith. And um, so, you know, as I go through these videos, I'd like to share that a little more, but I also try to be mindful of the fact that I have a lot of different friends with different spiritual beliefs, and I am a very um, tolerant, open-minded, compassionate person. Um, I don't try to tell someone else how to practice their faith or live their life. I just share mine. So um, that's something I am going to do a little more of as I go through these videos or maybe separately, but you know, one of the things when I, when I got through that piece, I, I prayed and I'm like, okay, so what am I talking about today? And, um, the topic for today, which, you know, you guys might think this is weird, but I, I could plan out these videos. I could um, make a content calendar. This is what I'm going to talk about today. This is what gets searched for in, in Google. So I'm going to talk about that because that's one of my strengths is um, search engine optimization and finding the right keywords. And, you know, that's how we got a lot of our traffic to just mommies was from keyword research and writing content that people search for in Google. And I'm really, really interested in SEO for YouTube videos. So it's definitely something I want to learn and apply to um, my blog and my Girl with Blue Energy YouTube channel at some point in time. But right now, my intention for these videos are simply to record my 90-day um, transformation and to be spirit-led through it. So one of the things I got from today to talk about, which is a problem for me and probably a problem for everybody, is decision-making. Um, that was what came to me in meditation. Um, what I needed to focus on and think about and talk about today was decision making. And um, if you know me, well, you, even if you don't know me, I'm going to tell you. Um, my dad, my sister, my fiance, my ex-husband, my kids, um, any of my friends will tell you um, this exact thing. There's no point in telling Patty anything. She does what she wants to do anyway. Um, which some people say, Patty doesn't listen. She does what she wants to do anyway, but that's not really true. Patty does listen. I listen, but ultimately when I make decisions, those decisions are mine to own. Those are mine. They're my responsibility. So 
when I make decisions, I do take um, into account what other people think and feel, but I usually take it to meditation to separate their feelings, their advice, their suggestions from my own intuition, my own, um, what I want to do, what I, what my decision is. And I figure it out through meditation and I could provide some examples where um, God has helped me and during meditation to make the right decision for me. But, um, you know, when I was done meditating, I, I um, went and did a little bit of research. I'm not trying to do heavy, heavy research for these videos. I just want them to be me talking and sharing what I'm doing. But I may very well make this a separate blog post and YouTube video content that's actually researched and um, written to my satisfaction on decision making and um, discuss it because one of the things, the stats I found was that um, 30, an, for an executive or manager, that 30% of their day is spent making decisions. And like the higher you go up in a corporation, the more, you know, if you're an executive and you're a higher level, your day cons consists, 70% of your day can consist of decision making. So what that tells me is the people that are successful, the people that are in leadership positions, why they are in leadership positions is because they're good decision makers. They're good decision makers. And that's something I want to be better at is making good decisions, um, making my decisions that are mine that I own, but also making good decisions. And, you know, through my courses and books, I've actually read a lot on, on time management. And the one thing that comes up a lot is um, the 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle. And if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, but it's the 80-20 rule that says um, 20 percent of what you do is responsible for 80 percent of your results and this this I thought this was like some newfangled concept but it's been around a while and, and new new gurus teach it but basically it says you know you like if you run a business 20 percent of your clients are making 80 percent of your money for you so you need to pick the put your time into the 20 percent instead of the the 80% that want to suck up your time and they're not really giving you the results you want. Um, and I find this, this principle, like when I first heard it, I was like, this is really useful. I'm going to get rid of all these things that are sucking up my time and I'm going to put all my energy into this. Um, the problem I have as someone with ADHD and bipolar is that the actual decision making of figuring out what are the 20% of the things I should be doing, that decision making process um, is, is the challenging part, knowing how you should be doing something and, and knowing the right decisions to make are two different things. So, um, you know, this is one reason I meditate with my decisions and why um, a lot of people don't understand why I make the choices I make because I do not make them the way other people do. Um, when I have a difficult decision to make, I meditate, I relax, and I, and I pray and often the direction I need to go in and the decision I need to make comes to me, but not in a conventional way. Um, you know, for example, one time I had um, a meditation where I was carrying three heavy duffel bags and I was trying to figure out how to get all three of them up the stairs. Now, these three duffel bags represented three problems in my life that I was trying to tackle all at the same time. And that's just how I saw it in my head was a me through meditation is I get um, imagery. So what I did was I set, one, I set two of the bags down and I carried one up the stairs and then I went back down and I tackled the other. Now, this might seem really um, elementary, but sometimes um, meditation has been much more insightful and has given me peace and helped me make good decisions like what I'm doing. So I'm making a decision today to add one more section to my video because this is important to me and I may have to edit these a little bit and that's good because that's good practice for me. Um, but one of the things my dad used to say to me growing up was, no decision, no mistake, Patty. Um, and what he meant by that was, if you don't make a, a decision on something, if you don't make a decision, then you don't have to live with regrets or a mistake. So I, I didn't make this decision, so I didn't make a mistake. Um, he also meant that as 
um, part of leadership is you're responsible for the decisions. And a lot of people are really good at holding leaders accountable for their decision making um, when they weren't the one who had to make the choices. Um, it's a lot easier to say, oh, you made a mistake in hindsight when a decision is a lot of times really tough and you don't always know how that outcome is going to turn out. And the person who makes the decision is the one who gets the praise and glory, but also gets the grief and criticism. And uh, so I've learned to make my own decisions from my father. Um, so when he tells me, um, no point in telling Patty anything, she does her own thing anyway. Um, he's also told me, you know, one thing I like about you, Patty, is you've always beat to your own drum. So, you know, if you want your children to be independent thinkers and um, make their own decisions and not um, make them based on peer pressure because mommy and daddy said to, um, teaching them good leadership and decision-making skills um, is something that's really important and something I'm grateful that my father um, taught me. So that was something I wanted to add to this video and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day and I'm going to somehow edit these all together. I haven't figured that out yet, but each day I'm making progress on my journey and sharing it with you guys. I appreciate your support. If you've gotten anything out of my video today, can you leave me a comment or just click the like button? It lets me know that I'm, I'm doing okay. And I appreciate all of you guys that are tuning in and uh, supporting me. Thanks.